And good afternoon, Sword family. We're doing ourselves another piece of calligraphy for our amazing friend, Dan Hollifield, who you can find at IndieCD.org slash about dash Dan dash Hollifield. Now, Dan has run a webzine called Aphelion for 27 years. And he recently asked me what the uh, Chinese calligraphy for Aphelion looked like. Aphelion is... the farthest star in our solar system. Now, I was not at all aware if there even was going to be a calligraphy for this particular word, but I looked it up. And there was one. I was going to basically make one up. But the thing that I was going to make up was almost exactly what the actual calligraphy was. I was going to do far star point. Because it's the farthest star. So far star point. Well, the actual calligraphy is far sun point. So it's pretty close. It is pronounced Yuan Ru Dian. So Yuan is far. Ru is day, and Dian is a point. And since I've started doing calligraphy again, once I looked up the characters, I asked him if he wanted me to make a calligraphy for him. And he said yes. So, here we are. Now, I have a ruler on the paper here, because this is going to be three characters on one piece of paper. And I want to make sure that all three of them are going to fit on this one page. So, I have a ruler marking out a section, and then we'll move down. Well, actually, we'll move up and section off the bottom character so that the middle character can fit in between the two. Now, the middle character... No. The middle character is smaller and less complex than the other two characters. So it doesn't need as much room on the page. And since we're doing this for Dan, I figure why not play some of his amazing music while I draw. And last month, I was able to purchase one of his albums that I've been wanting. That is the Displaced Detective Suite that I'm sure a lot of our viewers are also well familiar of, well familiar with, because it's played during The Burning is Yarn. But there was a song 
on the album that I don't know if I've ever heard. Sometimes it's kind of hard to notice when the music is so low in the background. And yes, I'm going to try and make the music quieter this time. So it's not drowning out me talking, but there's not going to be a whole lot of talking in this particular video. But I have the music set at 25, so hopefully it'll still be audible while also not being as loud as it was the last time I did this. So we are going to be playing track three from The Displaced Detective, which is Meditations of a Displaced Detective. I thought that was fitting with what we were going to be doing here. So, get that started. Hopefully you can hear that. Just like last time, we have to grind our ink first. Dan wanted black ink on a blue surface. So I think the yellow that I did last time just wasn't dark enough. So hopefully this the black on the blue will come up, be a lot more visible. We have our, what's left of our black ink stick. Not much there. And I also have a piece of leftover paper from last time so that I can test the ink to make sure it's not going to run because we want this to look good. Now we start grinding our ink. See, that is pretty dark. I don't think quite thick enough to not run on the page. You can't see 
the stone through the grind. It's gonna run. So, gotta keep going. bottom of the stone in the center of the circle while I grind. We're going to do a test. That's what the spare piece of paper is for. strokes and see the black is, is definitely a lot darker but it's, as it's drying it's lightening up a little bit but it's not running it's staying on the page but I think we can grind a little bit longer just to be sure that everything's gonna be good enough for the piece. Okay. All right. Now that my fingers are all black and got ink all over me. I think we're ready to do this. Get our ink on the brush. And we're ready for our first character. So, here we go. And that is our first character. So now we're going to move our ruler down to about here. And we actually marked a page when I wasn't supposed to. Now we do our second character, which is a lot simpler than this one. And there's our second character. Now, like I said, as you can see, the black is showing up a lot clearer on the blue paper. I think the yellow that I used for Perlina Bachman's piece was just too light. But this black is showing up really, really well. 
And now, finish it up with the last character. And there we are. Then, Ruth, yeah. Bar, Sun, Point. And, as I said last time, don't actually have this is called uh, basically a signature. Let's see if I can get a little bit more sunlight on that. There you go. This is an old one that I had from way before when I was doing calligraphy in my early 20s. I still have it, obviously. But the ink pad that I have is not big enough that I can actually use this to sign my work. This one would fit onto the ink pad, but blank. So it would just be a red square on the bottom of the page. So I'm going to do exactly what I did last time with Trey's piece. And I'm just going to use the same wax seal that I use on all of my, my journals. Same. The same seal. We have a couple of blue ink beads, and this really, really pretty kind of bronze color. I figure those should stand out enough against the blue background. Now we have to melt our wax. That black is not going to come off anytime soon. <laughs> I need to get me a new black ink stick so my fingers aren't so close to the ink, the ink stone. I just took the ink beads and put them in my ink spoon, and now I'm just going to wait for them to melt. I definitely like the look of the black ink better. The, the colored ink sticks I have are nice. I like the colors of them. You saw them last time. I like the colors. And maybe on a lighter piece of paper like this one, that yellow would show up better. It would probably also work better if I ground the, the ink longer to make it 
Actually, I think the problem was it was too thick. I think I ground it for too long and there wasn't enough water that time. So the whole thing was really, really thick. And I think that really affected the, the quality of the piece. But Trey really liked it. She went out and bought a frame for it. And it's now hanging up on the wall that she has behind her when she does her streaming. And it has black fingertips. Probably a while now. But this one, I think, came out pretty good. The, the distance up here is a little too much. It should be closer, but... The people who watch this channel, you know me. I'm amazingly critical of all of the things that I do. That, right there. That spot where I accidentally touched the brush with people when I wasn't supposed to. That bugs the crap out of me. But instead of starting over and doing it all over again, I'm just going to leave it. I'm trying to learn to embrace my mistakes. To not be so critical of myself and of my, my art and my work. It's not easy. Because I've spent so much time basically being told by most people around me that to do things like this, to do art, it has to be marketable. It has to be sellable. And to be marketable and sellable, it has to be perfect. I'm trying really, really hard to unlearn all of that. Because perfect is just not. It's not perfect. Nothing perfect doesn't exist. And I just realized just now while sitting here that I miss some strokes on this bottom character, this one right here. This is not complete. So this is me showing people, other people, other artists, that you can make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes every now and then. So I'm gonna seal this. I'm gonna leave that there. While I finish the actual piece. Hopefully some of the ink still on this ink pad will be enough. There we go. Now, 
now finished. And there is our seal. Now I just have to let it dry. And then put it in an envelope and send it off to Dan. Dan, I'm sure you're watching this. At some point you're watching this. There it is. It's not perfect. There shouldn't really be this much space in between this and this. There's an accidental mark on there. But it's done. And it's on its way to you. Hopefully by now, it's in your hand. I'm going to try, just like I did with Trey's piece, I'm going to try not to publish this, post this, until I know... <clears throat> until... <clears throat> until I know that you're holding this in your hand. But that's it. <clears throat> it's, it's finished. Done. I hope, Dan, that you like this piece. I hope my sword family has enjoyed watching another piece. You know, me making another piece of calligraphy. If anyone else watching wants a piece done by me, you can find me at ndcd.org slash about dash bladed dash thesis. You can also Check out my photos over at deviantart.com slash B-L-A-D-E-D-T-H-3-S-I-S. You can join the Sword Family at patreon.com slash platedthesis. Or you can buy some merch from bonfire.com slash the dash tea house dash store. Thank you for watching. Turn off the music. Thank you for watching. Zaijie.